Hi there, Spectre here, and welcome to the launch of the third Let's Play series of Star Trek Online, which is going to be of the Romulan Republic. So let's go. This is a very fun faction to be honest, and uh, you get a lot of choices, well not if you look at the species, but still, you will see what I mean later on. I will go for a liberated Borg once again. Get a mail. Let's go next. A tactical officer, of course, because it's my favorite career. Come on. There we go. Alright, I'm not going to customize in this video. I'll do that off screen. I'm not going to bore you with it. So let's move on. Alright, I already have a name for this guy. Let's go. Five of ten. Yes, it is five of ten. Now, as for a ship name, I already have a name as well, which is going to be the Uni Matrix. Matrix 501. Alright, there we go. Five of ten. And the RRW Uni Matrix 5. Oh, one. All right, let's go. We'll jump into the tutorial. That is what this video is all about. The tutorial of the Romulans. And uh, it can be pretty lengthy. So just sit back, relax and enjoy. All right, because I have played the tutorial more than once, I'm able to skip it. But because of the playthrough, I'm going to play it, of course. There we go. What we knew is gone. Our home, our lives, all that we were, dust. Blasted across empty, heartless skies. But we live. Our legacy lives within every ship we fly, upon every world we touch, in our hearts. In yours, there will be challenge. You will know fear, but you will overcome. You will survive and answer vengeance with blood. You will do as you must. Rule cannot be handed to the faithless. Our legacy cannot be lost to villains. Bury the past to face the future in enemies Find allies. There is no price we have not paid. No loss we have not felt. Our dead world. Our long suffering. These are not ends. We are not ended. For your crew. For your people. For this new home. We must face all doubt. We must break the strong who would destroy us. And overcome the impossible. We must fight against any and all. We must, we will, for we are Romulan. Right, that end gave me goosebumps. That's an awesome intro. Right, there we go. The youngest of our kind rely on stories to know what our people were like before. Strong, secretive, warlike. We were feared. We were powerful. Then, everything changed. Twenty-two years ago, the star of the Hobus system went supernova. The resulting explosion traveled through subspace to hit Romulus and Remus, our homeworlds. No one could have predicted that would happen, and no one could have stopped it. Millions died. Those who survived were scattered across dozens of worlds. One day, we were citizens of one of the greatest powers of the galaxy. And the next, we were just trying to survive. Every day was a struggle if you weren't part of the militant and oppressive Tal Shiar, or ruling everything from on high like Empress Sila. For ordinary Romulans, military victories don't mean much when you're hungry. Life goes on. The Klingons and Starfleet are at one another's throats. The battles light years away don't affect us much. The Tall Shi'ar are the more immediate threat. They're rebuilding the Empire by force, and 
pressing anyone they think can help into service. But even they don't seem to know we're here. We've put down roots and found friends. Today, we'll celebrate what we've created. With hard work and some good fortune, true Romulans will once again rise to be a power in the galaxy. The first step on that path begins here. All right. Your current tasks will be displayed here. Ah, come on, shut up. I'll disable the pop-ups because they are annoying, of course. If you have seen my other two playthroughs, you know that I think they are annoying. So, that's why I disable them all the time. Alright, that was the introduction. And now we are going to play as our Romulan. Alright, let's go. Again, very unique and different from the Klingons and Starfleet. I like that. Let's go. There you are. The security chief was looking for you earlier. She said there's trouble at the vineyard. Avrak's been filing reports all night about Kellett's chewing at the vines. He's really worked up. Kellett's in the vines? That doesn't sound right. Something must have annoyed them. It's not typical Kellett behavior. With the big celebration tonight, I think everyone's a little overexcited. Even the bugs. You should listen to one of Avrak's messages before you head out there. I'll look into it. All right. Check your messages. Welcome 5 of 10. You have 3 messages from Evrak. Nice. The second and third messages have been flagged as redundant by the system. Playing message 1 now. Listen. Please tell me you'll help me. Kellids are in the vineyard chewing through the irrigation pipes. And everyone says they're too busy getting ready for the big party to come and do something about it. There won't be any party if everyone's knee deep in water by nightfall. Get over here and help me fix this. Right, I'm curious about the other two messages. Listen to the second message. When are you coming over here? This is getting ridiculous. No one appreciates me around here. No one. They think these crops just grow without any help from anyone. Continue. Ten of these vines is a lot of work. No one says thank you. Don't pass me in the back. They just keep asking for more. God, look, just get over here and take care of the Kellens, all right? And maybe say thank you for all the work I do to keep these vineyards in shape. All right, now I'm really curious about the third message. It's me again. Ignore the other message I sent. I lost my temper. I'm sorry. Maybe that's why you're not here yet. I really could use your help, though. These Kellens are chewing through everything, and they won't stop. All right, continue. Uh, no one here has even tried to help. They just keep bouncing me to other people. First to Tovar, then to Navala, then to you. Well, what's that? Should I ask one of the kids? Just please come here soon. Thanks. Tell Tovan you're going to help Avrak. All right, here we go. If the Kellids are chewing up the vineyard, you should probably grab a pistol, just in case. I'd join you, but the chief has me looking into some odd comm chatter we picked up yesterday. We'll have to catch up later. I'll see you later. Alright, let's get a pistol. Which should be right over there. All glowing and stuff. Grab a pistol. There we go. Got it equipped. Now have some target practice. There we go. Bam. Alright, that's enough. You can keep practicing here if you want to, but I'm just going to move on. Get a weapon and head to the farm. Alright, heading to the farm right now. I really love how this place looks. Looks nice. Looks beautiful. Oh, look, an old ship nacelle. Alright, here we are. There's Avrak. Finally. I mean, uh, which message do you... Oh, never mind that either. It's chaos here. I need some help. Normally we collect nectar from the local Keladin sites. Something has driven them into a frenzy. They're chewing on our irrigation system and flooding the vineyard. 
I'll start repairing the pipes. Let's go. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, the broken pipes are obvious. They're the ones spraying water everywhere. Kel, it shouldn't give you too much trouble. Uh, a few bursts from your pistol will take care of them. I'll handle it. Let's go. Alright, there they are. Die, you stupid bug. I hate bugs. Especially mosquitoes. Leaving those itchy bites all the time. It's irritating. Alright, repair number two. And number three over here. Good. There we go. Speak to Avrak. Let's go. Here we are. The flooding has stopped, but if those kelids come back, they'll just break the pipes again. Something's making the insects go crazy. With bugs this size, that's a real problem. And Avalo might be able to help. Goofing off again. She knows all about kelids. She's normally down by the greenhouse this time of day. Tell her to stop being lazy and keep these critters contained. I'll find out what Navala knows. Let's go. Good idea. Talk to Navala. I bet she's just lounging around right now. Not even thinking about all the damage being done to my vineyard. No one around here wants to put in a good day's work. Well, except for you. Right, I'll get going. He's really pissed off at everybody. <laughs> Reminds me of a Klingon, to be honest. Being pissed off all day. Just in time. Did you talk with Avrak? He said that I'm what? Lazy? That I've been. Ugh! He's just trying to make me look bad so he can get a promotion. Oh, that's so old fashioned. Let me tell you what's actually happening. Well, tell me. The Kellids are going crazy. I've been working all day to keep them out of the residential areas. This aggressive behavior is new, and we need to figure out what's causing it. That means gathering samples from some of these creatures. I will see what I can find. There we go, shooting some more stuff. Nothing dropped. There we go. Strange sample. This metal has some kind of fungus growing on it that's similar to the spores we found on some of the Kellid carapaces. It might explain their behavior, but how are they getting infected in the first place? Also, the flying Kellids have never come out of the cavern before. This is so strange. Something might be happening in the cavern. I'll check it out. You're right. The source of the infection could be somewhere inside the cavern. Head over there and see if you can find out what's aggravating the nest. And be careful. I'll be careful. Don't worry. I've been assimilated. What can happen to me? Come on. Just gonna walk through this. Alright, you're gonna attack me, huh? Big guy. Take this. There you go. <laughs> Just exploded. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. More bugs. Alright. And there. They're down. Got another strain sample. Which is okay. Don't need it, but it's okay. Hmm. Dead bugs. Ooh, what's that? Creepy spider. Ooh. Oh, more of those uh, creepy spider. Dang. Hmm. Alright, let's kill these spider things. Oh, 
Now, I know if you're not careful enough and you let them come too close, they jump right on you. You want to avoid that. Ooh, floating thing. You're creepy. Ugh. And you're down. Good. Let's disable this strange device. There we go. You're down. Good. That solved it, probably. All right. A strange machine and some weird drone things? Hmm, that is troubling. Someone's been in there. We'll have to let the Maori know about this. It's good you disabled the device, though. Maybe now the Kellids will calm down. Maybe. I took a look at those biological samples while you were gone, but I can't do much more than a basic tricorder scan. It's just not my area. Devex might be able to help. He was an engineer in the Romulan military before the homeworld was destroyed. Now he's helping us with our water supply and anything else that takes more specialized knowledge. You should talk to him. All right, I'll do that. Oh, look. Got some experience points. Still citizen. I haven't leveled up yet. Anyway, it's a huge progress. All right. Here's the Vex. What do you need with an old space hound like me? Your knowledge. Show the Vex the strange samples you found. Hmm. I have an idea of what this might be. Maybe. I saw something like this once before, when I was out beyond the Eridon belt. We responded to a distress call from a mining outpost. When we got there, all the people were just gone, vanished without a trace. Spooky. The only things we found were a strange beacon and some odd spore samples. These look very similar. May I use your equipment to break down these biological samples? Good idea. When we ran into something like this before, we were able to stop the spores from reproducing by bombarding them with tachyons. We have the equipment here to replicate that procedure. Thanks, I'll let you know what I find. Alright, where do I need to go? Oh, over there. Break down biological components. Alright, data retrieved. I've only seen fungal biotech like this once before. Remember that mining station that I mentioned? Before we arrived, they reported several disappearances. Some thought it was paranoia, but we had reports that said intruders would beam in right through the colony's magnetic shield, right into someone's quarters, sedate them, and then vanish without a trace. Ooh. We didn't know what to believe. But I don't think those miners were paranoid. Something did happen to them. And it could happen again. Well, I hope not. You thought it was related to this beacon. That's what my commander believed. We found a beacon with almost the same configuration as the one you found. We weren't able to get much from it before we shut it down. But the one thing we learned is that the beacon was made by a race that called themselves the Alachi. Ooh, the Alachi. We stayed in orbit for a few days, but the Alachi never came back. That's good news for us, seeing that you disabled the beacon you found in the caverns. What do we do now? Tell the Maori what happened? Or what we found? Sorry. That's right. He's the man in charge, so he needs to know. I'd be surprised if he doesn't want to send someone down there to analyze that beacon. Could be these... Ilachi were interested in our colony for some reason. Lucky for us, you were there to put a stop to whatever they were trying to do. Take your findings to the Maori and explain the likely involvement of the mysterious Ilachi. Right, let's go. Yeah, I know the Ilachi, they're quite mysterious for now, but you'll get to know them better along the way.
Jolan True. I heard Avrak yelling all the way over here. I'm sorry you had to deal with his problems on our day of celebration. That's fine, but we have a bigger problem. Hmm, that does sound very mysterious. However, you seem to have taken care of the immediate problem, disabling this beacon and dispatching the drones. You have my thanks. It was my honor. I'll assign some engineers to examine the device and set up surveillance on the cave as soon as possible. If what Devex says is true, we don't want that beacon turned on again. Now that's settled, why don't you try to relax for a while? Enjoy the festival. We'll talk again tomorrow after the engineers have finished their analysis of the device. I'll do that. Thank you, Mayori. Alright, let's hail Tovin. I'll meet you there. Hey there. Long day? You don't want to know how long. I can't believe how far this colony has come. Just look at how much we can accomplish without being ruled by the Tall Shi'ar. Word is someone named Atan is trying to fight them, but... Me? I'm content with what we have here. Let's go enjoy the festival. Alright. Party all night long. Friends and neighbors, welcome to the tapping. The Kellet nectar has been harvested, the ale is brewed, and we can finally taste the fruits of our labors. And like this fine vintage, his mouth isn't more is moving. Oh, nice. and effort to develop. Since the loss of the homeworld 22 years ago, we have known fear, hunger, and pain. We have struggled, and we have overcome every difficulty. We have mourned those who are no longer with us, and we have welcomed new friends into our home. And now we celebrate. The trials are behind us. Viranat is prosperous and growing. We will face new challenges in the future, but we will face them together. Very nice. And some fireworks. Party all night long. Let's go. Ooh, what's that? Whoa, uh oh. Orbital bombardment. Ooh, am I dead? No. the shuttles ready. You should find Navala and Borean to help organize the militia. Get as many civilians to safety as you can. After that, we stop whoever or whatever is attacking our home. I agree. Let's go. Let's get these suckers down. Ooh. That looked painful. Right, Cole Tovin. Come in. Are you all right? What's happening over there? Did you find Forian? It's too late. He's gone. Where are you? I'm at the shipyard with Devex, and we're prepping the shuttles for evacuation. I don't know what's going on here, but we need to get people out while we can. If you can get a rifle, you can fight your way out. Can you make it? I'll make it. Just get the shuttles ready. There we go. Find a rifle. Well, I guess from these dead guys, from that blast. There we go. I'm on it. Alright. Fighting Tall Shiar. I mean, come on, we're the same species. Why attack your own people? But you asked for it. Die. There you go. I was saying they're the greatest. Damn Tall Shiar. They're goddamn weak. 
Look at this. Come on. Fight me. Oh, wait. You can't. You're dead. Look at them standing guard. They're no match for me. Come on. This is for the good of our people. Seriously? Attacking and killing your own kind. Good for our people. Yeah, right. See, those are those spider things. See, they jump on you. Ah, uh, don't worry. I can take them. Alright, I need a battery. Ah, there's one. Alright, you're not even fighting, come on. Yep, I have them. Just need to repair the device and send the signal. And blow through some Romulans along the way. Come on. It's a shame this colony goes to waste. It really is a shame. I mean, it was beautiful. Come on. Signal is strong. Get to the shipyard. We're getting out of here. You don't need to tell me twice. All right. Hey, don't shoot me in the back. If I can get to you, I'll kill you. There you go. And you're gone. There's Tovan. The shuttle is ready, but I got as many people aboard as will fit. We have to go. I agree. Let's go. Congratulations, citizen. All right, citizen level two. Nice. We get Tovan as a bridge officer. Good. Let's board the shuttle. And there we go. Ooh, creepy thing landing there. Ugh. An enlarged walker. I'm sorry if you hear any noise on the background, it's a little noisy outside. Lost the shuttle there. They're not attacking. Devex showed me how to fly his warbird. We're almost there. Ooh, lots of wreckage. Ooh, look, an old Talis warbird. That thing dates back to the, the original series, Kirk era. And we're in space. Alright, let me fix the heads-up display first. We have our bridge crew right here. Come on, why are you not working? Come on. There we go. And a singularity status. That's better. Alright. Helltoven. Navigation is online, but we need some components to get our weapons and warp drive operational. We'll need both if we want to have any hope of fighting the Tal Shiar. I'll scan the old ships around here for what we need. Alright, let's go. An old relic from the past against the new modern ships of the Tal Shiar. <laughs> Guess not, but we're gonna try anyway. All right, weapon parts. This will do nicely. We just need a little more salvage. All right. I guess that brings the weapons back online. Which is nice. I want to shoot stuff. Come on. 
Oh, more weapon parts. Weapons are online. Let's test them out on some of these derelict ships nearby. They're not shielded, so we can just use our torpedoes to finish them off. Will do. As long as I can shoot stuff. No full impulse. Damn it. Alrighty then. Let's shoot these derelict ships. Let's go. Scrap neutronium. We could use that to reinforce the hull of this old warbird. Good. Maybe then we stand a chance. Maybe. Three more of these should get this hull good to go. All right, more things to kill. Good shot. Devex would be happy to see this old warbird get some use. If he is still alive, that is. Safe to say, weapons are fully online. My words. I thought it, you said it. Time to take out the tall Shi'ar satellites dead ahead. Well, I only have to destroy one. That's a shame. I like to shoot all of them. Damn, it's so slow without full impulse. All right, there we go. Prepare to go bye-bye. Great. All systems are go and full impulse is back online. Finally. I'm picking up a distress signal nearby. It must be people from the colony. More colonists managed to escape the surface. All right, let's go and save them. The distress signal is close. Searching. There. We have to help them. A freighter and a few shuttles. Let's go. This would have taken so long without full impulse. Glad we have it. Turn off full impulse. There's a tall Shi'ar drone dead ahead. All right. That was easy. Beam aboard colonists. I'm back on the bridge. I figured out how I can improve our torpedoes. Just give me the order and I'll get started. Scanners are picking up more colonists and tall Shi'ar nearby. We have to rescue our friends. Good to have you on the bridge, Kev. Let's go. Another drone and a warbird. I will use that upgraded torpedo for the uh, for the warbird since they are a little bit tougher. Also, this is our uh, singularity ability, the shockwave. Boom. Okay, maybe I'll use the torpedo on the next target. Not on this one. We almost got this one down. Alright, beam aboard all colonists. Thank you. Nah, you're safe. Talking about getting a full uh, crew complement. There you go, that's the heavy plasma torpedo. That's the upgrade. And it affected multiple targets. <laughs> Look, I didn't even fire on that guy and it's dead. Now that one's dead too. Not just this one. There you go. Beam aboard. 
Wait for Red Alert to go away, then we can hail to to say we're a fully operational ship. I'm getting an alert. There's another distress signal coming in from one of the colony's shuttles. We can do a short-range warp jump to get to them. Do you want to go now, or stay here to wipe out any other incoming drones? They look like they'll be coming in to do sweeps in the area. Nah, warp us. There we go. That's not a shuttle. There aren't any colonists here. Just this strange ship. I've never seen anything like this in my life. It's gigantic. Engineering reports that the ship has scanned us, but they're not responding to my hails. What should we do? We'll scan them. We need to know who or what they are. Alright, let's get into scanning range. Definitely is a strange ship. Well, I know what the, what kind of ship it is, but not gonna spoil you, of course. Whoa! They've done something to the ship. Nothing is responding. I can't even warp us out of here. I think I might be able to get a calm channel up to hail them. What do you want me to do? Open a channel and ask them what they want with our ship. We're getting a reply. seem to be rearranging our words and sending them back. Listen. All right, let's listen. Tovan. I'm picking up another ship. This one is Tall Shiar. It's decloaking. Get ready for a fight. Right, the strange ship is leaving. And we got a Dideridax. Classic Warbird. So the Alachi were right. A handful of pitiful Romulan refugees managed to escape. When will you colonists learn that no matter how far you run, you cannot escape your obligations? Colonel Hakiv. All right, continue. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Colonel Hakiv. Of the Tall Shiar. On behalf of the Romulan Star Empire, I hereby lay claim to this colony and all of its inhabitants. Surrender now, and I will ensure that you serve us in the way you are most suited. Never. We will fight you with our last breath. Let's Fire go. Weapons at will. Let's go. This is the mayor of the Romulan Republic. Oh yeah, some help from the Republic. <laughs> you wish. Alright, it's one against three, so it should be easy. Hey, don't push me away. That's rude. That's very rude. Don't you just follow me and shoot me? Come on, there are multiple targets. Well, I guess I'm the one he doesn't like. Hmm, take that, shockwave. There we go, we did it. So the insect has managed to sting me. You think you won? This is not the end. Even now, more of my ships are on their way. And the next time, you won't have anyone to protect you. I don't need anyone's protection, Akiv. <laughs> so he lost his eye. That's karma. I am Tamer. Commander of the Romulan Republic. We picked up your distress signal while on a mission in a nearby system. I would say we arrived just in time given your ship's condition. Who are you? And what happened here? 
Explain what happened at the colony. I am truly sorry. This is not the first time I've heard a story like this, and I fear it will not be the last. And these Ilachi creatures, they are troubling. We need to know more about them and why they're working with a sneak like Hakim. As I said, I'm with the Romulan Republic. You may have heard of us. We are not the terrorists the Tal Shiar make us out to be. With our leader, Datan, we are working to gather survivors of the destruction and fight the tyranny of the Tal Shiar. We have a flotilla nearby. If you're interested, we would welcome you and your friends to join us there. I will help you. I appreciate your willingness to do what's right. I'm transmitting the coordinates of our flotilla to your ship now. When you arrive, we can repair your vessel and work out our next move. Thank you again. I'll make sure you won't regret your decision. It is my honor to assist you in your fight. Let's go. I don't know how I feel about this, but I guess signing with Tamer is better than risking death on our own. And he did help us out with the Tal Shiar. The coordinates are loaded up whenever you're ready to go. I think the colonists we rescued are eager to get someplace safe. Alright, warp us to the flotilla. And... If I'm correct, that concludes the tutorial. And we abandon Virinet, our home, our beautiful world. Well, once beautiful world. And there's the flotilla. Looking nice. Shiny. Greetings. I am Sub Commander Nadell. T assistant to Commander We're in the floor. Tamar. Please follow me to the commander's quarters. There is much to discuss. <laughs> sure, we'll follow you through the floor. Commander, our guests have arrived. Excellent. I'll get them up to speed. There is much to do. I'll be glad to show one of you around while the other stays and talks with Tamer. I'll take the tour and then meet you back on the ship when you're ready. All right. All right, Tamer, let's talk. Greetings. I hope all is going well with you. I'm here to join the fleet. Good to see you and Tovankev made it to the flotilla of the new Romulan Republic. To be brief, we are a group that was founded by Datan to combat the tyranny of Empress Sila and her Tal Shiar. Our goal is to unify the shattered Romulan people under a new democracy instead of Sila's tyrannical rule. There is much to do, however. I can answer any questions you may have. I'm fine. What's next? What's next is that you receive our uniform and get a tour of the flotilla. After that, you'll receive your first assignment. However, you must understand that by joining us, you mark yourself as an enemy to the Tal Shi'ar. Hakiv and his people will see you as a threat, and there isn't anything they won't do to stop you. Are you ready to accept that? I'm in. Good. You should get yourself down to Lieutenant Delatham. You can get a uniform from him if you want to change out of those civilian clothes. You can also have your ship modified. We can't get you into a more powerful vessel yet, but we can change the appearance of your ship if you want. When you're done, return to your ship. I should have your first assignment ready and sent to your ship by then. All right, here we go. Experience and expertise. A uniform and a free ship modification. Ooh, some armor and a shield array. Nice. Congratulations, Lieutenant. All right, now I'm a lieutenant and I'm level four. If you remember, after the tutorial of both the uh, Starfleet and the Klingons, we were level three. And here we are with the Romulans level four. Nice. So that's it uh, for the tutorial itself. We will explore the flotilla a little bit. There we go. Explore the flotilla is another little mission, such as explore first city and uh, explore f Earth space dock or welcome to Earth space dock. So here we go. I'll show you where you can change your uniform. Not gonna do it though. Not now. I'll do that off screen. So here is the tailor. Customized clothing. All right, continue. All right, I'll give it a try. So this is the customizer, just real short look at it, getting out now. 
Let's move on and need to go to the other side. To the shipyard. To call it like that. Here we go. Nice hologram of a ship. And here we you can customize your ship. Which I'm not going to do now, but of course. Alright, let's continue. And speak with Daton, the leader himself. There we go. There he is, with the big arrow above his head. Hello again. Now that you're settling in, I wanted to speak with you about what our overall goals will be. First and foremost, we are looking for a new planet to call home. Tamer and his crew are handling that search. While the search continues, I am working on any possible alliances that we can make with the Federation and the Klingon Empire. We will need allies if we are to proceed. Your task will be the protection and recovery of other Romulans spread throughout this sector. Are there many other colonies? We are finding more by the day. Some have already joined us, but others do not believe in our cause. It will be up to you and your crew to protect these colonies from the Tal Shiar and to recruit anyone willing to assist us. Do you have any questions? If not, I would suggest you return to your ship. Tamer will have his orders ready for you. Alright. Now if you want to read this, you can do that on your own if you start the game. I'm not going to return to my ship just yet. Well, maybe Hello it again. concludes then this now that you're mission. Set, we're finding more by the day. All right. Sounds like we've got our orders. If you're ready, I can beam you back to the ship. However... Before that, I need to ask a favor. I have a sister. Her name is Rena Kev. She and I were separated a long time ago. I want to try to find her. As we're doing our missions, could you try to ask about Rena? Thanks. I'll do what I can, but don't be me back just yet. Alright, I only have to go to sector space for this. and I will do that off screen. It's not re really important. Alright, so that concludes this first episode of Let's Play Star Trek Online Romulan Republic. Here we are at the flotilla of the Republic and uh, we did the tutorial. And for the next video I'm going to do something new as I also am going to do with the Starfleet faction and the Klingon Defense Force. I'm going to get and equip a Tier 6 ship. That's right, since Rise of Discovery, you are able to equip a tier 6 ship after the tutorial. Which is right now. So, you can look forward to that in the next episode. And in the next episode, I'm also going to play the next mission of the storyline. Which is going to be, let's see, the Helix. Alright. That's it for this episode. Now, if you liked it, please hit that like button. And if you don't want to miss out on any future episodes of this Let's Play series or one of my other Let's Play series, please subscribe. And please let me know what you thought of this. You can leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you very much for watching. This is Spectre signing off. See you next time.